Hello everyone, and in this video I'm going to give you the quick how do I solve any system of linear equations using Excel through the matrix uh, algebra approach. Um, and I'm not going to in this video give you an overview or a refresher of, of matrix operations or how to do uh, how to use matrices to solve problems. Um, but because you should have already had that in calculus. However, I will post my uh, lecture slides online as refreshers for you so you, you can uh, re remind yourself of, of some of this notation. Uh, importantly, the point we want to get across is the key questions in Excel the uh, on how you can use matrices to solve it. The hard part was actually doing things like inverting the matrix and then multiplying the matrix and so forth. All these calculations are simple but time consuming and that is exactly what Excel will do for you. And so this is just a quick refresher that if you have a series of linear equations as I kind of outlined here, you can rewrite this into a notation um, in a vector format like where you have A, X, is equal to b, where a is a series of coefficients, x is your is your uh, row vector of, of your variables, and, or um, and your column vector. I mean, and b is your coefficient vector, uh, so uh, or your uh, uh, right hand side of the equation. And so you can rewrite this, and you can see that I do explain how this falls up, falls into place. But uh, any series of ex expressions like here, like this expression here, can be rewritten in um, in vector notation as your uh, A matrix, your coefficient matrix, your X matrix, all the different variables, and then your right hand side which is all of the uh, uh, B matrix. And then by using um, uh, applying the special matrix multiplications to solve linear expressions, you can multiply both sides by the inverse of the A matrix, and you'll notice multiplying A inverse times A, it gives you the identity matrix, and try and remember, uh, refresh yourself what the identity matrix is, and then on the other side you have A inverse B. The identity matrix times any matrix is just that matrix, so we have now just the X row of independent variables, and you have now a solution to every linear problem that fits into this uh, format as X is equal to A inverse B uh, I mean, the inverse of A matrix times B. And this will be the solution to the linear equations for all system of linear expressions. The only caveat is, one, uh, that you have to be able to invert the A matrix, and two, you have to have is, uh, the um, uh, independent um, uh, equations. That they, um, so the same things that you'd have to be able to do for uh, solving any kind of problem that you had in, in CME 200. So let's show you how to do this. Now I'm taking the exact same format here that we had in the previous ex ex example, and we have now uh, written this expression here, this series of equations, in A matrix notation as you see here. Um, um, you're just breaking down the columns uh, of the coefficients, your uh, x vector, and then your b. So we can transpose this into Excel. Now Excel, you don't explicitly tell the matrix that, uh, or the system uh, is a matrix, but we can make it uh, behave that way. And the way we can do that is we can define a three by three array here as this matrix, as a matrix. And we'll just enter in the numbers, three, two, seven, two, five, two, four, three, two. Now you'll notice in this case here we don't uh, we didn't do anything special, but I'm going to, uh, for the sake of uh, making it special, I'm going to bold this. I'm going to say a matrix is equal to that, and this is just gives us a little heads up to say that this is yes our a matrix. If we want to make it even clearer to ourselves that this is the a matrix, we can even put on the left hand side a border. Um, oops, I don't want a border there. Um, uh, no border. And then we'll add a border on the left-hand side, and we'll put a border here. This is just, if we want to really emphasize that this is a matrix, we can do that, right? And we can also do the same thing for the B matrix. And then B matrix is going to be um, uh, is equal to 5, 17, and 11. Now, equals, and then we're just going to 
put a line on both sides of this just so we can highlight it as a matrix. And there we go. So we've just defined what the A matrix is and what the B matrix is. And now we need the two functions. To find x, we'll have to create a, an array of x. We'll just call x is equal to, and this will be our answers here. And so I'm going to make this uh, green. And that'll be over here. But we first need to have an A inverse function. And we need to have um, uh, a way to check to see if, if uh, the matrix can even be inverted. Um, well, the first way we can know if a matrix can be inverted is by looking at a determinant. So uh, we can do the determinant. That doesn't know how you spell it. Determinant. Um, and we can do the M D term. You'll notice all matrix functions for some reason have M in front of them. M de term, M inverse, and M mult. This is the way we know that they're matrix. Um, but we're going to do M de term, and we're going to find a determinant of this matrix array. And negative 78. If you know, a, system, a, an inver a matrix can be inverted as long as its determinant does not equal 0. It doesn't equal 0, so we can invert our matrix. And so we do have a solution. So now we're going to define this as our uh, inverse matrix. So is equal to, and I'm just going to create a new field here as our inverse matrix. Um, and I'm going to put that over here to be the same. I'm going to bold, bold, just so we have this nice and pretty. Now I'm going to put a line here, and I'm going to put a line here. And put a line there. Now I'm going to do something weird. Um, if it hasn't been weird already and I want you and I because there's no way to show this on a keyboard because you're not looking at my hands um, you're looking at the screen but in order to make this function work I have to input a value for each and every one of these cells in a way that Excel knows to calculate it as a matrix what would happen if I just did simply M inverse and I selected the array I selected that system and I hit enter, I get a single value at the top left corner. That is useless to me. I need the full matrix, and I need it to be um, the full matrix of the whole thing. And if I did that again and again and again, it's just going to give me that value up here. That is not what I want. I want to populate this entire position with the inverse matrix of A, like we have above. And the way Excel does that is by, and I'm going to put that uh, command over here, on the keyboard, command on keyboard is going to be control shift enter. You're going to hold down those three keys to do this. So what do I mean? So I'm going to highlight the entire range of where the in, uh, matrix is going to be. I'm going to say equals to M inverse. And then I'm going to go up to this array and select all that and enter. Now, instead of just hitting regular enter, I'm going to hold down the control key, I'm going to hold down the shift key, and then I'm going to hit enter. And now we've populated that entire field with the inverse array of A. Great. So now, all I need to do now here is go over to the X matrix and say M mult and we're going to have the first matrix here, comma, the second matrix. Now remember, matrix multiplication is not uh, 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 commutative. It has to be in that order. The dimensions of the matrices must match. So the A matrix on the left, B matrix on the right, control shift enter, and you now have the solution to this matrix. We've solved a series of three linear equations uh, very simply in just really a handful of, of keystrokes. How do we know it's the right answer? Well, let's find out. We can actually say, um, uh, we can do a check. I'm going to do a check over here. And the way I'm going to do this check is I'm going to see this first expression is true. It should be 3, 2, 4. So 3 times x, 1, plus 2, times x2 plus 4 oops plus 4 times 
x3, and if all goes well, it should equal 5, which it sure enough it does. We can do that again and say uh, for the second equation, uh, we'll just do it this way now, 2 times x plus 5 times x2 plus 3 times x1, and I'm going to guess it's 17. It is 17. And then we can do that one more time. 7 times this plus 2 times this plus 2 times this. And we get 11 and 11. So we definitely know that this equation, this solution does match the equation expression, and this, this works. A um, couple of caveats and things I'm going to warn you to check out for. Um, when in problems and things I've seen students uh, uh, make mistakes on. Number one, making sure that it is invertible, that they did enter this right, um, that you did the determinant and make sure it works. Number two, making sure you did control shift enter to get the inverse uh, function uh, and that that's all okay um, and making sure that that's, uh, that works. Thirdly, making sure you enter these numbers in. When you get a larger matrix of 5 by 5 say or, or 10 by 10, it's easy to create it in Excel, but you'll start to realize that the scale, the numbers of like a 5 by 5 matrix starts to become a uh, rather large array of numbers that it's very easy to enter in incorrectly. So be very careful to make sure you entered in the values correctly on that. Um, and then finally, making sure that you selected the proper range and that you had here um, that you've done the M multiplication correctly and so forth. Um, the other, other trick I'm going to tell you and watch is if I go into here, into this matrix, and you'll notice it's got these little funny um, brackets now in this, letting you know it's part of an array. If I try to edit this one value, and just I'm going to call this 5, it's not going to let me do that. It's just not going to let me do that. And some of you might get panicky because if you notice, I hit Enter, Enter, hit Delete. Um, it's not letting me get out of this. This is an example. It's very easy to get caught in a lock in Excel matrix math and not knowing what to do. Just hit escape. Remember your your uh, solution to most uh, scary things that can happen in Excel when you feel like you're locked out of something or, you, or it's forcing you to do something you don't want to do. Just hit escape and that will solve almost every problem. Uh, so uh, in the end, this is as complex as matrix calculations go. It is exceedingly powerful and exceedingly useful as long as you understand how to convert a series of linear equations into matrix format, and then you can convert that matrix format into a very simple uh, check on uh, for your solution. And that is all you need to do. And so from there, um, I'm going to, since this is the output, and I'm going to format cells and practice good math skills here. I'm going to put it into uh, scientific notation and go there. And now we have our solution uh, to our problem in a reportable format. Uh, so um, I think that's all that we should care about today. And um, uh, thank you again. Bye.